film director, the first female chairperson of the Afghan film organization. She's directed 30 short films, three documentaries, and a work called Hava Maria Maisha, which had its world premiere at the 76th Venice Film Festival three years ago. Sarah, thank you so much for your time. First of all, just your initial reaction to this decree. So I'm not surprised and people of Afghanistan are not surprised uh, about this decision because we know the Taliban didn't change, but uh, uh, the international community and the world uh, uh, are surprised uh, because they wanted to convince us that the Taliban changed. But now you, you see they, they banned uh, girls from going to university, which is a higher uh, degree of education that they could get. But, uh, uh, and they decided not to, uh, to allow girls. So it is, it is again, a, a very sad news, but also it is, uh, it shows that the Taliban are a very barbaric group, a very terrorist group, very anti-woman group, and also very anti-educated woman group. They are afraid of uh, women of Afghanistan, and they are using uh, any opportunity, any any kind of power that they have in their hand to stop uh, uh, women to be visible. And they are uh, they are removing women from public life, from educational uh, system, from everywhere. So this is the very dark reality of Afghanistan that we we witness. And I think the international community and those countries that are in power they need to take an serious a, a serious action because they are announcing that okay they are sorry about that or they are sad about that, but it doesn't help us. It doesn't really help us. It is now more than 459 days that students cannot go to school. And many, many women, they are just, they lost their jobs. And now girls cannot go to universities. This is something that in 21st century, that uh, in a country like Afghanistan, women cannot even dream about knowledge and, and even dream about uh, like uh, start education. Yeah. So this is sad. Um, the US um, Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, says he doesn't believe there is any other country in the world which bans women and girls from getting an education. The Gender Equality Index is an index compiled by the United Nations. The last available figures are from 2019. And in the Gender Inequality Index, the UN ranked Afghanistan 157th out of 162 countries. The Global Gender Gap Index measures gender equality, and it's published by the World Economic Forum. Last year, it put Afghanistan 156th, very last out of 156 countries. And you have just indicated exactly what the future issue may be for the Taliban, because if countries outside of Afghanistan play sanctions, continue to not recognize the Taliban as the legitimate government of Afghanistan. That means the country will not get more money in humanitarian assistance. So it's not just women and girls who suffer. Obviously, this is targeting them, but the whole country will suffer. You know, uh, I want to be very honest, okay? Let's ask to die because this way of living under these circumstances is, is a process of dying for us. When women of Afghanistan, that they are 50% of population of a country, they are in prison and they don't have any access to basic rights. What, what is the meaning of life? Okay, this Mr. Uh, uh, Minister of uh, Foreign Affairs of US, he was the person with many others and with Khalza that they did that shameful deal with the Taliban. When they, if they wouldn't did that shameful deal with the Taliban, we wouldn't be in this in this situation right now. And now he is giving us, like repeating us those things and those thoughts that we already knew about that. He didn't, they didn't like the international community, US, they didn't talk to the new generation of Afghanistan. They didn't look at us. They didn't see us. They didn't listen to us. They went and to, they went and they, ma they made a deal with a backward and savage and very terrorist group, and they decided about our lives. And today, if Afghan women, if Afghan girls are 
suffering under this kind of circumstances, it is because of the shameful deal of US with the Taliban. And it is because the international community, they just wanted to go ahead with their own agenda. They didn't listen to us, you know? Okay, they say that we, we help or, or we say safe, but why, why you want to change the narrative about Afghanistan? Narrative of Afghanistan is not begging for, for bread or narrative of Afghanistan, not humanitarian crisis. The narrative of Afghanistan and the real story of Afghanistan is the, the new generation of Afghanistan, the women of Afghanistan. Then why you, you came to our country and you show, uh, show, show us the development road, the development map, and today then, then we should suffer because we know, we know that what we want, we know that what, what we want to have, but we don't have access to anything. Some of us, like me or other Afghans, we had chance to get out, but there are millions of girls and women, they stayed in Afghanistan, giving uh, like few dollars for bread or water or rice or oil to cook a potato. It doesn't help Afghanistan. It just helped for two days. This is not a humanitarian project, Afghanistan. Afghanistan is a should be process of development. And in this process of development, women of Afghanistan must participate. Women of Afghanistan were active participants of the development of our society. I don't know Americans how they want to ju uh, justify their, their, their big mistake. They did a mistake. And they should apologize and they should let us to go back to our countries and to build our countries and they shouldn't recognize the Taliban because they are meeting uh, 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 with the Taliban. They are negotiating with the Taliban. They are talking to, with the Taliban. They are sending money every single week around four, four, 40, uh, 40 million dollars to the hand of Taliban. Right. Do you think that we are naive? Do you think that we are we don't see, we don't understand, we don't know what is going on behind this kind of humanitarian aid? Let us die because we are tired. We are tired of these people. We don't believe in them, in the Taliban. We don't believe that they change. We don't believe that they are going to be changed. Just let us go back to our country and and the, one of the conditions that we, we go back to our country and rebuild our country and put in our own hand the freedom of our country is that the international community should not recognize the Taliban okay. and they should just remove them from this, this Afghanistan, you know? Sarah, thank you so much for talking to thank us and explaining it from your point of view, which presumably reflects the majority of opinion amongst women in Afghanistan. We don't know that, but we can probably presume. Sarah Karimi, thank you so much.